Hi, thanks for stopping by to watch me, Leia, cook kosher. Today I'm going to show you how to make something super simple, kids love it, and it is Alfredo over a linguine. I'm going to start by popping my um, pasta into my pot of boiling water. I'm just going to add a little salt. And put that in there, and we're going to make this sauce while that cooks. Okay. Now, to make the sauce, we're going to start by adding the butter to the pan. So basically, Alfredo is a very, 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 can I say very one more time, rich dairy sauce for pasta. In fact, what did we put in here already? I have two cups of heavy cream one and a half cups of Parmesan cheese. I have eight ounces or about a cup of cream cheese. I have a little bit of slivered garlic, about two teaspoons, tablespoon, depending on how much you like. That was my butter dish. And I have about an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. So we have our melted butter. And to that, I'm gonna add the garlic. I just, I don't wanna fry that garlic. I just wanna brown it a little bit help mellow out the flavor. All right, that's looking great. I'm just gonna add my cream cheese very carefully so it doesn't splatter all over. And that will melt down. I thought that was very, um, a very unique ingredient to add to this. I haven't seen many recipes where there's cream cheese, but it adds a little extra body and more richness. So we'll just keep stirring that until it melts down. I'm gonna switch over to my whisk, my poor parv whisk that got dairied up. I'm sure you have one of those at home. And I'm gonna just Try to incorporate that butter into the cream cheese. Then I'm slowly, slowly, slowly going to add my, my heavy cream. Partially because I don't want this to spill all over, but I do want to make the sauce as smooth as I can from the start. It's a little easier to make maybe in a, a taller saucepan, but I really wanted you to be able to see what's going on here in the pan. And with all things dairy, cream, butter, we don't, we don't want a really high heat. Better to take a little bit longer and just let it come to temp nice and slow. I'm gonna go ahead now and add my pepper. If you don't like little specks of black pepper, you could use white pepper. I myself, I like the taste of black pepper. And then the last ingredient, all that Parmesan cheese. So of course we're not adding, um, we're not gonna add any salt to the recipe, aside from what we've put into the pasta, but that's just to give the pasta some flavor. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to let that stay on a medium low temp so it heats up. And now I'm going to check on my pasta. Ah. We used to always throw the strand on the wall to see if it would stick when I was growing up. We have a new paint job here. I don't think I'm going to do that. But needs a few more minutes. We'll be right back. All right, so my pasta's done. It's al dente, which means, you know, it still has a little bit of give. And you might be asking, well, how does she know it's done just by looking? 
I cheated. I tasted it when we were off camera. So that's how I know it's done. And that's how you should do it at home too. Kind of have to just put it between your teeth and see how it goes. So I'm going to take that to my sink, drain it off. I'll be right back. Okay, pasta's perfect. I'm going to set that there, shut it off, and I can see that I'm getting a little bit of a simmer, and I don't want it to boil, so I'm going to slide that off, and what do you know? Everything's done. Now we can plate it up. I'm going to take my nice thick sauce and pour that right into the pasta. Garlic scent there. Okay, that is beautiful. So we can let it sit for a minute. It'll, it'll also thicken up. So if you're not going to eat it right away, you could keep your pasta separate your, from your sauce and then gently heat them up, combine them, and then serve because that's a lot of cheesy goodness. But I think I'm going to top it off with a little more Parmesan cheese. There we go. That looks even better. Smells delicious. And the kids will love it. Yeah, you guessed it. Absolutely another favorite. Oh, and I forgot to tell you. Don't forget you can find the ingredient list and directions to make this perfect pasta dish and other great recipes at leahcookscosher.com. See you next time.